Hey guys, it's Blind Dolly Girl, and today I wanted to go over the American Girl coffee shop that I got for my birthday from my boyfriend. Um, this is a really great coffee shop, so let's get our finger eyes ready and explore this by touch. All right, guys, so here we have the American Girl coffee shop coffee bar. It's really cool. I'm going to scooch in so I can feel it with my hands. Um, I hope you guys were able to get kind of an overall view of it and that it's not like cancel. Sorry. That was my, my, it was on echo. It heard me in the bedroom. Oh boy. Anyways. So, um, so this is a really cool coffee bar. Um, you have over here on the very right, a little indent to put something, which we will get to in a minute. Then moving on to the left, you have a sink so you can, you know, do your dishes and things because you need to do dishes when you're, you know, running a coffee shop. I mean, you know, um, we have a menu board here that has a piece of paper on it. And the menu board's cool because it just hooks on by these two hooks at the top. So this does not come attached to the set. You do have to attach it. I know that it is facing the drink menu options, thanks to the video service for the blind, Ira. Um, they told me, so thank you for that. Um, and then on the menu board on either side, you have two little shelves to put little things, you know, here and there. Uh, moving down again, so sorry. Um, to the left, you have, of the sink, you have another little counter space for goodies. We have at the very bottom here, a mini fridge on the left. You can open it and put things inside it. We have two, uh, two cupboards, lots of space in there so you can put things inside. This is all wood. The cupboards themselves are plastic like the doors, but you do have that. Moving on still to the left, you have a drawer that you can open and put things in. It is empty right now. We will be adding some goodies in there. And last but not least, we have a sliding cabinet, which hopefully you can see this is empty. This is plastic. So then on the other side of this coffee bar, just turn it if I can. On the other side of the coffee bar, we have a little seating area for dolls. This is just all one big plastic bar piece, so you can put like your dolls, um, drinks and food and things on it. So that's pretty cool. So we're just going to turn this back around. I do appreciate that the set is pretty easy to turn and I'm moving my goodies. Okay. So what should we do first? I think we should check out the coffee machine first because it is really cool. So we'll put it here on the counter. It just fits in this little slot on the right, that little slot I was first talking about really nice and neatly. Um, this coffee machine is cool. Um, it makes sounds and I'll be demonstrating those in a moment. At the top here, very top, we have a lid and if we open the lid, it's a plastic lid. Put that in the sink for a second. We have a um, whole thingy that is filled with pretend fake coffee grounds. These are plastic, but they are textured. So you can actually feel like there's pretend coffee grounds inside there. That's pretty neat. Um, and then we have this rubber item here on the very right of the coffee machine on the top. Um, this is for distilled water. I will not be demonstrating that today because because I don't have distilled water. Um, I do need to get some, but I don't have any right now. This coffee machine is yellow. I know that it's yellow thanks to a couple fellow doll reviewers that I know. Shout out to AG Overseas Fan and Dollies and Rainbows for letting me know um, some visuals of the set that I may have not actually otherwise known. So on the back of the coffee machine, we have a switch that you turn on to the right. And then going left to right, there's buttons at the top. The first button is coffee grinding. Oh, it was already on, my bad. I sometimes forget to turn off my toys. So the first button is coffee grinding. It 
sorry. The first sound is coffee grinding. That's pretty cool. Then the next button is coffee pouring. Then we have another coffee pouring button to the far right. And I think the last button, it is for the steam effect if you do have distilled water in this set, but I think it's actually um, also for uh, milk frothing. So that's pretty cool. Those are all of those sounds. We are gonna turn off the coffee machine now, so I, since I didn't earlier. Okay, now let's get to the goodies because everybody loves the goodies. So we're gonna get to the um, fridge first because that's some of my favorite parts. So we have this whole pile here of goodies and let's pick up items. See what we come across, we're gonna open the fridge. So the first item we come across is a jug of milk. It is plastic, it does have some texture to it. There's a lid on the top. The lid is pink. Uh, I don't remember what the milk just says. I think it's organic or 2% or something. And there's a handle on it so your dolls can hold it. So we're going to put that in the top right of the fridge. Next up, we have a, contain a bottle of whipped cream. This is really cool. There's a spout at the top. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get this in the frame. Uh, there's a spout at the top and then there's like this other little pointy part on the right. I don't know what that's for. Um, it is also plastic and there's a nozzle thingy that you hold down to act like you're, you know, spraying whipped cream. So that's nice. Uh, we're going to put that on the left. Next up, we have a bottle of juice. I say this is orange juice, but I actually don't know what it is. Um, Kind of looks like a mini soda bottle, but it's not. It's a juice bottle. There's a cap at the top. It is not removable. It is also plastic. And you can feel there is like a little label on it. So that's, that's pretty nice. So we're going to put that way in the back there. Here we go. And we have another identical bottle of juice. Next up, we have... A pitcher of water. I believe this is for the distilled water so you can put it in the machine. It looks just like a pitcher. There's a spout on the left and then there's a handle on the right so your dolls can hold it. This is also plastic. It's very, it's pretty high quality plastic though. I mean, it's not, I don't think it'd break that easy. So we'll set that there for now. Next up, we have a cupcake. I love these cupcakes. So there's a cherry on top that you can feel. It has a slightly rubberized texture. And then the cupcake itself has like these little lines on it that you can feel made to be like a design. And that is also rubber. Actually, the whole thing I think is like a rubber, <laughs> rubber material. Uh, the bottom of it is made to feel kind of like uh, the bottom of a cupcake or maybe even a cupcake liner. It's got those lines on it. It's very, very well done. I love it. So we're going to put that there in the fridge right above the milk. Next up, we have a container of cream cheese. And this container of cream cheese is uh, also plastic, of course. But it's really cool because if my hands will cooperate, which I don't think they will, I'm very sorry. Um... I'm very, very sorry about this. Hang on, hang on. The camera is gonna go wonky. I really apologize. So when you open the thing of whipped cream, oh, not whipped cream, cream cheese, you can feel the little things of, like the little detail of whipped cream inside. It actually feels like whipped cream. There's little like chunks inside it. It's very well done. I love it. Um, that The texture inside is like a plastic. Uh, mold and you just put the top back on it. Oops, I lost it. Hang on. 
hang on. There you go. And now we're going to put that to the very back, except it's kind of messing up my setup here, but that's okay. Um, next up, we have four of these items. I'm going to only be talking about one of them. So next up, this is a Frappuccino. Uh, there's whipped cream at the top. The whipped cream is plastic, but similar to the cupcake. There's like these little swirl designs that you can feel. There's a lot of whipped cream on the top of this. And then the glass itself is pretty heavy. Uh, and then there is a thick handle on the left and or right, depending on which way you're holding it, that the dolls can hold. So we have two of those. We have two caramel and two, I think, strawberry. So we're going to be putting all of these in the bottom shelf. I'm sorry, I'm not good at doing things left-handed. So bear with me. There we go. And the fridge is now for the most part all set up. So we have milk, whipped cream, cream cheese, two bottles of juice, and a cupcake on the top shelf, and then four frappuccinos on the bottom shelf. So we'll close the fridge. Now we're gonna open up these two cupboards here. And we have a cardboard container. This cardboard container is like a to-go box. It's so you can, you know, have your dolls take things to go it like I said it is like a cardboard it's a pretty heavy duty cardboard um, but I would suggest trying to handle it lightly just to, because you don't want to you know mess up the cardboard there's a handle at the top so you and or your dolls can hold it and it fits multiple drinks so we're gonna put that here in this cupboard to the right next up we have oops I'm, I'm moving things, I apologize. Okay, um, I'm looking for my next item, I apologize. <laughs> there was something very specific I wanted to show first, right. So next up we have these um, latte cups or to-go cups. And these, I'm sorry, wonky for a second. Okay, uh, I apologize. One second. You guys aren't going to see anything for a quick minute. While I try to do this. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's not wanting to work with me right now, but you can actually take these lids off. And inside, I think there's like coffee, like looking like coffee, which is really cute. Um, there is a little hole kind of in the middle so your dolls can drink out of it. And again, there is a handle on the left and it is also plastic it's fairly thin but I really do like that the lids come off I wish I could show you guys that but my fingers are just not wanting to cooperate so we're gonna put one of those in the drink carrier we get two of these let's see if we can find the other one here it is so we're gonna put this one also in the drink carrier Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Not, not that nicely done. They're kind of like laying there, but it'll work for now. Okay. Next up, we have this uh, syrup stand. And it's kind of cool. It looks almost like a cheese wedge, like a really, really long cheese wedge. But there's four circles that go down. This is pl plastic. There's four holes that you can put something in. Sorry, I just dropped it. And we're gonna put this to the left of the sink on the very left side. And then next up we get, we get four of these. So again, I'm only gonna be showing one, but we get a little um, syrup. This is pretty cool because it does have a pump at the top, molded pump to make it look like your dolls are pressing down on the syrup. 
And again, there is a label. Um, I don't know which one each of these is, but I believe we get one blueberry, one mint, one cherry, and one caramel. Um, so that's pretty cool. I guess I shouldn't say I'm going to show one because just in case you guys actually can see it, I'm going to be describing one of like, you know, things sometimes. Um, so this is, this is pretty nice. I do wish, I think it would have been nice if you could actually push down on this and it would make like a pump kind of feel. Put one there at the top. Then we're going to put one right below it and one right below that and last but not least one right below that so now we have four uh four syrups going down like stairs on the coffee shop. So that's really nice. Next up we have Next up we have four espresso cups. These can come apart. Each of them can come apart individually. It's just my hands aren't really working with it right now. They are all plastic and um, yeah, they're little four espresso cups. So we're gonna put that right to the right of the syrups. Next we have, again, only showing, only describing one of these because they're all the same, four little coffee mugs. These are really thin plastic, but they're still nice quality. They look like a little coffee cup, maybe even a tea cup. You have a handle on the left so your dolls can hold it. And it's slightly rounded on the bottom. We're going to put each of these on the top here of these shelves because we get two shelves. So we're going to put two on the right, two on the left. And Hang on, I'm trying to find the other ones. They, they ran away. <laughs> Here we go, here's one. And uh, two on the right shelf. Let's see, where'd the other one go? I have one more. I know I have one more in here. Oh, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. That's, we didn't close that, dr that door on the uh, cupboard. Hmm. Okay, well maybe that one will be found. I'm so sorry about the camera going kind of like going all over the place while I'm trying to find something. <laughs> My apologies. Um, next up we have, and again, only showing one of these because, describing one of these because they are exactly the same. We have a bag of coffee beans and these are really cool. They're like paper, kind of, but you can feel the coffee beans a little inside if you take your nail. And I'm told that there's a clear window detailing the coffee beans. So that's pretty nice. Um, there's like a flap at the top to make it look like, you know, coffee bean bag so you can open it. And we're gonna put these in the back. You guys won't be able to probably see this, but we're gonna put these in the back of the container, stack them up, just laying down. And again, I think we're missing one. We should have three, we should have four, and I only counted three. Um, oh, there is that elusive coffee mug. <laughs> I told you guys I'd find it. Sometimes when you're using your hands, it can just take you a minute longer. Okay, so now we have the coffee, the shelves set up perfectly with the coffee. <laughs> now if I could just find that bag, right? Oh well, the bag will be found. So we're gonna finally close these both these cupboards for now. 
Uh, next up we have this trash can because you can't have a coffee shop without putting away your trash, right? I mean, it's just gotta be done sometimes. So um, this is a blue trash can and it's really, really, really deep. It's great for storage actually. That's what I tend to use it for. Uh, it looks like we have two vents on either side, kind of. They are textured. I don't know why there's vents on a trash can. Maybe that's something else. It is uh, like a rectangle, actually. And you just open up this drawer here on the left. Remember that drawer I told you about when we first started? And put it in the drawer and close it up. And everything is perfect. So now we're gonna go above the drawer and we're gonna organize this, this, this other drawer, this, um, I should say cabinet. We're gonna go above the cabinet and organize this other drawer here because um, we have some stuff for this. So this first item I picked up is a little thermometer. It's supposed to be so if you put water into the actual cup uh, for the distilled water, you can put this thermometer in and act like you're checking the temperature of the water to make sure it's like, you know, good. Um, there's a little pointy thing on the side. I don't really know what that's for. Maybe a clip. I personally can't get this clipped onto the cup, but it is plastic and it's round on the actual part that would go into the cup. So we just keep that in there for now because I don't use it. Next up, we have a porter filter for your coffee maker. These are supposed to go in the top of the coffee machine from what I can tell and what I've, what I've heard and what people have told me online of pictures, but I can't get it. Maybe my hands just aren't strong enough. I, I cannot get it. So we get two of these. Um, they look like lollipops, to be honest with you. That's what they remind me of. They're round at the top. You can kind of feel some coffee bean detail inside. And then they have a circular um, pointy thing at the bottom. That's what's supposed to go into the little um, indentations of the coffee machine. So it's supposed to look like this, technically. You have your pointy thing at the top and then your circular thing at the bottom once it's pressed into the coffee maker, but I can't get it. So we get two of these. We're gonna put these in the drawer. And there you have it, you guys. The coffee shop is styled and uh, the coffee bar, at least, section is styled and ready for its customers. I did forget to mention two other really cool things. To the left of the uh, sink, oops, I just knocked over the um, espresso cups. To the left of the sink here, we have a, if I can get to it, it's being weird. We have a paper towel dispenser that you can pull. And we also have to the right, a soap that you can press the button on. I wish the soap like made some sort of sound effect, kind of, but it doesn't. Um, I also think it would have been nice to have like a little, like this, the, the paper towels are cool, but I think it would have been cool to have like a little roll of paper towels too, you know, to, uh, I don't know, act like you're, or, or get some little like separate paper towels to be able to give your customers or napkins or something. But uh, that's the coffee bar uh, portion. Uh, and now let's get on to the actual checkout stand because there is a checkout stand that comes with this as well. All right, everyone, here we have the checkout counter for the American Girl Coffee Shop Local Bean. I'm gonna move the camera down a little bit so hopefully you can actually see what I'm talking about. I know that was a little high. Um, this is an amazing checkout counter. It's full of also goodies. We have goodies over here. And then we have some goodies over here. So we're gonna be going one by one with our hands, same as we did for the coffee bar and uh, seeing what that's all about. And if my lighting looks different and my sound is different, well, it's a different day <laughs> and I'm doing this. And um, so yeah, different day, working with a little bit of a different uh, set up here, so. Let's, uh, let's do this. And I'm so sorry for my uh, dry uh, washer, washing machine in the background, if you can hear that, I apologize. Um, anyways, let's start off with, um, you know what? Let's start off with this first. 
So this is the bakery case. It is really cool. Um, it's really roomy. You can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's plastic. It's made out of very light, lightweight plastic. It's um, smooth, you know, made to kind of resemble glass. And then of course you have uh, this also plastic part up here, like from uh, <laughs> the inside the bakery case. So there are these slots on top of the checkout counter, just like there were slots on top of the coffee bar. And you just sit the bakery case in there like so. Next up we have a cinnamon roll. It is plastic, I believe. Uh, you can feel the swirls on it, which is really nice. Um, can't really feel any like frosting detail to me, but they still feel pretty nice. Um, and it looks like, feels like there's um, lots of yummy, 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 yummy possible layers in between here. <laughs> so that's really cool. We get two of these. So we're gonna put one, we can do this without moving the thing all around. That'd be great. We get two of these. So we're gonna put them here in the bakery case on the very far right. Hopefully you guys can see this detail. Next up we get two, we get two of these as well. We get two um, bagels with cream cheese, I'm told. Now the cream cheese, you can actually feel a little layer inside stuffed between the actual bagel pieces, which is really nice. Um, and then there's like these flaky texture details. I think that's made to be maybe like poppy seed or something. And then there's a little teeny hole in the middle. So cute of both bagels. So we're gonna put that right next to the, right in front rather of the, uh, of the, uh, of the, words are failing me. I'm so sorry. Uh, we're gonna put that right in front of, <laughs> oh my goodness, of the, the, previous pastries we're putting down. I, yeah. Okay. And then, uh, I guess that's it for now. There should have been two cupcakes, but once again, I think the cupcakes disappeared on me. So we will find those. Moving on to the bakery case, we have, um, to the other side, we have this card reader. Uh, this is a really cool card reader because you can kind of feel the little buttons a little bit. It honestly just feels like one big texturized piece, but they are supposed to be little keys for the card reader. Um, so you can feel that. And there is a button or a slot on the bottom. I'll show you a little bit about that in a minute uh, for the card reader. So we're going to put that right in front here so a customer can check out with it. Next up, we have this screen for customers to check out with, uh, or rather cashiers to check out customers with. Uh, I'm told by the video service on demand, Ira, that's A-I-R-A. -A. Ira is a visual on demand interpreting service for the blind and visually impaired. I'm told that this is on the um, total screen. So for like dolls, you know, to know what they have to, what uh, for a cashier to be able to tell you your amount and stuff. I'm told that that is on that screen, which is great because that is where we want it. Now, we're gonna flip this up if we can. It's a, there we go. So sorry about that. So we're gonna put that there on the counter. Yeah, it's not, it's, uh, oh. Okay, there we go. There we go, the paper was kind of falling out a little bit. You can turn it around and there's something else on the other side. I think it's just another thing of the menu. Um, but we're not going to be doing that today because that takes a lot of dexterity in two hands and I am working with only one hand because I need to hold my phone in my other hand. Um, so next up we have a tip jar. It is a plastic tip jar all around. Um, it does have a lid and you can remove the lid so your dollies can put cash and things in it. Now I do... Uh, I don't have any cash for right now. I don't know where the cash to my set went, but I do have some cash from Joss 
so maybe Josh will let me borrow some money so you know dolls can put 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 money in the tip jar so we're gonna put that right next to the bakery case right there and then we have another cardboard drink carrier if you remember this from when I from from well technically the other day <laughs> but from the other part of this video with the uh with the coffee co coffee coffee bar um it's a it's the exact same drink carrier it's like cardboard and you can fit multiple drinks on either side and then there's a handle in the middle to hold it and we're gonna put that down here on the bottom of this coffee bar or coffee checkout counter i'm sorry to the right to the left my bad next we have a bag of pita chips we have two of these we are going to be uh, only putting one of these down right now uh it is like um like a plasticky kind of material you can feel the chips kind of inside feels like they are all glued together and i'm told it's blue so we're gonna put that right here on the right of the top shelf in the bakery case. Next up, we have, we get four of these. We have four plastic plates. They are round and they have little like indentions in them, uh, made to look kind of like dinner plates. These feel exactly like the plates do in the American Girl Kitchen, if you guys have that set. I will be doing a review on that set at a later date. I do have it. Uh, that comes with some really nice things as well. But um, we get four of these plates. They're like a medium size, I would say. So we're going to put those. We have three there and we need one more. I'm going to put that right there on the top shelf on the very left. And the pita chips, like I said, are on the right. Next up, we have a thing of chocolate chip uh well not chocolate chip cookies but cookies uh i think they're mint they feel like there's multiple cookies in here to me but i'm told there there's supposed to actually only be one so i don't know i say these are oreos that's what oreos oreos and or chocolate chips depending on my mood most of the time they're oreos because that's what the packaging reminds me of again they come in a plastic packaging you cannot uh sorry you cannot open them um, but they're really cool. They even have like the back here. You could like kind of flip that up and, you know, like hold it like that, like an actual bag of, of cookies. And we're going to put that directly to the left of the pita chips on the shelf. And now let's see, there's that bag. Oh, I found that plate I was missing guys. I told you I would. So we're going to put that right there on the right, on the left hand side where it goes. All right, so that is all styled. Now we have another bag of Oreos. Hmm, where to put this? Because we do have more space, um, which we'll get to in a minute. And if I could find that other bag of pita chips, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, guys, so before we go on to the other part of this that I wanted to show you, I would just like to go over a couple other little details. So like I said, uh, like I may or may not have not said, I don't remember, I'm so sorry. Uh, the top of this, this entire checkout center, checkout counter is, um, is plastic. The, the shelving, you get two shelves and the shelving, shelves are wooden. The sides are wooden. But other than that, it is plastic. So if we take this and we turn it around, turn it around. This is the front of the checkout counter. This is what customers will see when they are coming in to, you know, get their food and everything um, all set up or not set up, but made. Uh, and it's really cool because we have two little shelves here on the right-hand side, uh, and left-hand side, I'm sorry. It's usually my right, because I'm usually like behind, you know, the counter, but now it's facing me. So it's two little shelves on the left, you can put stuff. And then there's this sign here. I think this says local bean, I don't know, but it's like a plastic sign. And then you have the bakery case looking, oh, so awesome uh, to the left and then 
the card reader and all that to the right and the tip jar and everything just looks so so nice here so we'll put the cookies on this top shelf top shelf left like that now if we could find the pita chips we could put the pita chips in that same spot to the right but i don't know where they are we will find them <laughs> okay last part of this review we're gonna flip this around back around i love how easy this set is to like turn and maneuver i will say my kitchen is a little harder to do that with and i feel like this has a lot more like flexibility for that so that's really cool so the other thing i wanted to mention that i forgot is that we have this drawer here and in this drawer we have some gift cards i don't know what what is what they all feel exactly the same they're all like plastic uh and they look like a gift card they're rectangle and um i have listened to some reviews that have said what these gift cards are but my memory is not that good so yeah but we'll take out a gift card and we can close that and then let's reach over here and get the card reader so the card reader is pretty neat see if i can do this easy i don't know so you have the card reader here it has something on the screen probably i don't know what and then i'm sorry my camera is gonna like go bad for a second because i want to show you and i can't do this very well <gasps> Ooh, i almost broke it There we go. Maybe. So your card can go in there, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but the card can fit in there. It's kind of loose right now because I'm having trouble getting it one-handed, but when you insert a card, it is supposed to change um, the, it is supposed to change the picture. So it says something else, and it makes a little click noise, which is really nice, <laughs> so. Anyways, guys, that has been the American Girl uh, coffee shop, all of its accessories and everything. Review by Touch. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I did, like I said, get this for my birthday for my boyfriend. It's one of my favorite newest toys. Um, I love the little coffee cups. I love the sounds of the coffee maker. I love um, the milk jug. It's one of my favorites, even though it does look exactly like the milk jug from the kitchen set. Um, <laughs> I love the little uh, cream cheese container. I love the tip jar. I just love everything about this set. I definitely think it's worth the price tag and it's really, really good quality. I, I just, I can't say enough about it. Um, definitely recommend it, definitely recommend it. <laughs> uh, hopefully you won't have to wait so long for another video from me. Like I said, I'm so sorry. Things have just been really crazy but hopefully I can get back to doing these very soon because I have missed everybody and I have missed uh, having so much fun with you guys talking about you know my toys and toys in general. And so yeah, I'm really happy to be back. If you guys, uh, if you've liked this video and you don't wanna miss any others from me, please remember to hit that notification bell, like and subscribe so you will always be informed when I come out with new videos. Thanks guys and until next time, bye.